I failed completely. What's going on today? I'm going to be talking about my A level maths. So, I just finished literally an hour ago my A level maths. I just did C4, pile of shit, don't even want to talk about it. Um, I will I will get there at the end, we're going to go through all of them. So if you don't know, I'm in year 13, um, I do biology, chemistry and maths <laughs> and I resat C1, C2 and S1 because I'm a bit of an idiot and I failed last year. Good job Lana, well done. So I resat those and C1, alright, C1 was okay, okay, last year it was, oh my god, I came out crying my eyes out I was so embarrassing like if I was my friend I just would have left me in a room um I was so upset by it and I got a B which wasn't that bad um I got a C in C2 and I got a D in S1 because I'm absolutely crap at stats um we'll, we'll go with this chill so C1 the shit didn't go too bad nothing no stupid mistakes I don't think <laughs> I say that now, I'm gonna get you. Um, I could do every question which is good and I think it went okay. I came out and I was like, yeah, you know what, we might have hit that. So I'm predicting that I'm gonna get an A and C1, um, purely because I don't think I did much wrong, but obviously you don't, you never know, like I could get a C, but pff, who cares, let's be honest. So the next week I then did C2 and this is where it all went downhill. So C2 last year, I'm all right at C2, but I'm just rubbish at, um, like circles and, and stuff like that but in the C2 exam I messed up the sign question to calculate the angle of a triangle question 2 question 2 right so I got like sine equals 0 0.6 and I didn't inverse sign it I have had nightmares about this sitting in the exam and not knowing what to do all I had to do was click inverse sign on my calculator and I bet some people are laughing at this I am so disappointed with myself for that. Like, it was just the stupidest thing I have ever done. I just had like a mind blank in the exam, I guess. And, oh my god, I'm so angry at myself. I'm still thinking about it now. It was four weeks ago. <laughs> and I know you say, they say, put it behind you. I can't put it behind me. I hate myself for it. And if I get like a U in maths, that is why. I don't care about any of the other papers. I didn't inverse sign it. That is why I got a U, okay? Sorry, Whew. and I also messed up the area question at the end of C2. So in C2, I'm probably going to get the same as I got last year, to be honest. So I got a C last year. I'll probably get, maybe I'll get a B. Who cares? Who knows? And then we had S1, right? S1. So stats is not my strong point, to say the least. Um, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I'm really bad at it. But I had to take it. Um, so I tried my best. I went over all of it over Christmas. I worked really hard on it. Um, and I did loads of past papers and when I was in the exam I was like oh yeah this is fine like, I've got this yeah I missed one five mark question which was calculating the median from the normal distribution who the fuck knows how to do that like who knows how to do that I don't know I still don't know now um, um, but then I found out I had to code the data of the first question before answering it and I didn't even read the question like I just I just skipped to that part. Like my brain just decided that you didn't need to didn't need to read that part of the question, and that uh, therefore I I lost about eight to ten marks on the first question uh, by not reading it. What a complete idiot! Um, so stats. I think I got more than a D, but I probably got like a B or a C. So that's not good. Like I needed to get an A and C1, C2 on stats, and so far we've got like an average of roughly I reckon a B. Maybe. I don't know. Obviously I don't know, but looking at mark schemes, like unofficial mark schemes, speaking to my teachers, I can get a pretty good guess of kind of what I got. So that was the AS1, C1, C2, uh, stuff there. And then we hit A2. So obviously I'm doing biology and chemistry um, as well, so I'm trying to do like A2 exams um, for science as well as maths. And my first A2 exam was D1, which is decision, which actually is being taken out of the A-level maths because they decided that it was a waste of time. Which it is, so I think that's the only good decision Ed Ed Excel have ever, ever made. Actually, it might be the government, who knows, they're all crap. Um, so, D1, I was in there and I was like, I have got this. Like, D1 is pretty easy, but you can easily make a mistake. So, I was there and I was like, I've got this, um, and it was okay. But the problem is with D1, if you do it, you will know. If you don't do it, you will know now. If you do one number wrong, like, you lose like 
25 marks. No word of a lie, no exaggeration, like 25 marks. You get a U if you do one number wrong. You misread your 7 as a 9, you got a U. Okay, that was a little bit, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But it's hard, like, it's hard to get everything right. You really, really can't make a mistake in D1. And, like, if I didn't make a mistake, it probably went all right. So, if I did make a mistake, I might have got an A or a B. If I did make some stupid mistakes, you lose so many marks. So I could so easily get, like, an E. Uh, I don't know. I can't even predict my grade for D1. I have no idea. Um, so, D1 was all right, though. But I didn't feel too bad about it after, like I did for some other exams. <clears throat> so... Then I hit C3, and this was interesting. I'm good at C3, like, it was my strongest one, I thought. Um, throughout the year, like, I was doing well in the past papers, and I seemed to get it, like, there's nothing in it to trip me up too much. And the paper was actually really hard, like, um, everyone was saying, like, I thought it was really hard too. Um, but I don't think I've messed it up that bad, like, I lost, like, a fair few marks, obviously. <laughs> But I don't think I like completely bomb dived in it, do you know what I mean? Like I don't think I got like an E or anything. So in C3 I like hopefully I'll get a B or or may maybe an A. Who knows? Um but it wasn't that bad and I felt okay about it, which is always good. And then it all went downhill. Cause I just did the C4 exam. And I'm I'm reasonably acceptable at C4, like I'm not too bad, but I did. It always is tricky, like it is hard, like it, it is the hardest module in A level math. So I opened the paper, this was like three hours ago, like <laughs> I opened the paper and I see no binomial expansion as the first question. And when that is the case, you just know, you just know it's going downhill from there. Like if there's not a nice binomial expansion question at the start, you're fucked, like run away. Um, <laughs> So it was like parametric equations at the start. It wasn't too bad. I think I got it. Um, hopefully. And second question, binomial expansion. Whoop whoop. But it wasn't normal binomial expansion. It wasn't just expand. They made you find like A and B. They already expanded it for you. It was a part of shit. But I think I got it. Um, hopefully. It was just really annoying. Confusing. Like, I wish they'd just given us one nice, easy question. Okay, the first one was easy. <laughs> one like simple question that you know you got like a solid six marks on. Um, so then I dawdled on through the paper, it wasn't too bad. And then I hit the vector question. I'm appalling at vectors. Like, in my opinion, if they put vectors in a statistics exam, that would be my version of nightmare. Um, <laughs> so I got like, I think I got half of the vector questions, and then I just saw the rest. I was running out of time, and I was just, I don't, I was just like, I don't care. Like, I might be able to do the next integration question, but if I waste all my time trying to do vector questions, which I can't do anyway, I'm probably going to fail. So I skipped the last bit, which was like three, four, five marks, can't remember. Um, and then there was a differential equation thing about like water moving out of a 200 centimetre container. I just misread the question. I don't know why, like it was clear what to do. Um, and I just didn't think in my head that the number for k, which I had to work out, would be negative because it was coming out of the container. And I'm so an annoyed at myself because I know that. I know that if, it, if it's coming out, it's negative. Like, how many questions did I do where that is the case? And so I got the answer of the time which I had to work out solving the equation as negative 148 minutes or... And I was like, I know this isn't right, like, I know this isn't right, it obviously can't be minus, but I just couldn't see where I'd gone wrong, like, I was thinking that 148 could be the answer, but if it was positive. So, <laughs> I did my classic, I'm just going to times this by negative one, and hope the examiner doesn't notice. Um, so I wrote T as 148 instead of negative 148, um, so I probably lost a couple of marks on that. Um, if it's wrong, I lost all the marks. But if that is the right answer, but I just didn't do the negative, I probably just lost a few. Um, and then I turned over the page to the last question. And when I started trying to do it, I just felt this sickness, like this pit in my stomach. Because I couldn't do it. And it was 12, 9, 10? A fair amount of marks, like 10 marks I'll go for. And I couldn't see what to do, I forgot it was like an area question and I just forgot how to calculate the area using parametric equations and it's like I've done this a million times I've done this so many times like 
and I just forgot in the exam. I, I always do this, I get like a mind blank and I just can't do it. Um, so I waited for like five minutes, calm myself down, bearing in mind I have like ten minutes left which isn't helping. Um, to calm myself down and I managed hopefully to figure it out because it, luckily it was like a show that um, and I managed to get it in that form. I think I differentiated one and times it by the other, I can't really remember. Um, so I got it in that form which is good and then there was a six mark on integrating this and I'm so annoyed at myself for this. So it was like theta, tan theta um, plus sex squared theta, tan theta I think. <laughs> So one of them I did by inspection, and I think I got sex squared theta, or 1 over 2 sex squared theta, I can't remember. And the other one, it was theta tan theta. So, you obviously have to use by parts, obviously, but I didn't, my brain just decided to ignore that there was a theta there. And just saw it as tan theta, and I'd just written it out, I'd just written the theta in front of it, like in the step before, and I just didn't write it, I just didn't write theta tan theta so I didn't do it by parts, lost probably about a million marks for that question and I probably did the other one wrong too, I don't even know if it, what the answer is but I'm just so annoyed at myself because it's like I know how to integrate those and I didn't do it correctly and I'm just pissed off because it's like how many mistakes am I going to make in life which I could have done better and it's just so annoying like in every single math exam I've did, I did this like I could have got so many more marks, I could have got an A but, I mean, I know I don't know what I've got. I know I don't know, the, like, my, my exact marks. But I can make a pretty good estimate. And I, I know I, ha I I think I'm going to get, like, a B or a C. And I just don't want to get a C. Like, I just really don't. Um, but I'm so much better than that. Like, I know I am. I And I'm just annoyed at myself because I can do better. And I hate not doing the best I can. Um, so my prediction for C4 is I'll get maybe, like, a C or something. Depending on the grey boundaries. They're really high, usually. So I might even get less than a C, maybe like a D. Um, but hopefully in total I get a B. Um, that'd be really great. But if I get a C, I'll be I'll be annoyed. But you know what? I was on to the exams. It's my fault that I don't read the questions properly. Um, hopefully I can learn from it. And if I go to uni, do better at uni exams. <laughs> um, and there's always other careers like. I don't always have to. I don't have to go to a Russell Group Uni and do a clever subject. I don't have to do that. I can do something else in my life. So I'm gonna be figuring it out over the next six months what I want to do. Um, and I might do this video for biology and chemistry because I have biology on Monday and chemistry on Tuesday, which are the last two papers, and they're gonna kill me. So if you want a really depressing video on those two, um, I might do one after, but it depends. Um, I don't know why anyone would want to sit listening to me talk about exams anyway, but um, <laughs> I like doing it because it's. I like looking back on it, like 10 years time I have like my whole exam experience on YouTube. So good luck to everyone else, I'm going to go and cry, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not going to go and cry, I'm going to go revise chemistry, um, good luck, see your results day.